Hi everyone, today I'm going to try three different pastels. Hard pastels, soft pastels and extra soft pastels. Uh, in the box there are uh, 12 uh, hard uh, sticks of pastels, rectangular shape. I can use them as a pencil with the tip of the stick or uh, with a broad mark like this to cover a large area. This pastel uh, can't be smudged very easily, so for blending uh, it's uh, less appropriate. Very vibrant colors. What I like about them, they don't smudge, they stay on paper compared to other types of pastels. I'll try them out to draw some uh, sandals for uh, children. What I noticed about these uh, hard pastels, they act like uh, wax uh, crayons. They uh, mix in a limited way. You can go uh, with uh, dark colors over um, light colors and not the way around. They have a vibrant uh, color, very nice to, to draw with them. They uh, glide very easily on uh, paper and uh, it's very convenient to carry them uh, to paint uh, and to draw on location. Having uh, only 12 colors I think I'll use in uh, mixed media, watercolor or uh, other uh, media because uh, I cannot mix them and uh, I can uh, apply uh, some vibrant colorful uh, accents with them and they uh, stay very well on paper, don't smudge in a sketchbook when painting on, uh, on location. Now let's switch to soft pastels. There are uh, 24 half sticks in this uh, box. Uh, the soft pastels has, uh, have a powdery texture and uh, allows to rub and to smear it on paper. For a soft pastel, uh, paper with uh, tooth is uh, more suitable to retain uh, the powder of the pastel. Soft pastels allows the layout to be made with a clean and direct stroke, the exact definition of which depends on the way it is used. As the pastel um, can paint with all its surfaces, the strokes achieved are similar to those of charcoal, both by painting with the pastel flat or using uh, the tip of the pastel. 
at the same time the opaqueness of the pastel colors allows any stroke or correction to be covered over so I can apply one darker surface and to correct any mistakes now I'll uh, draw in a time-lapse mode uh, this owl uh, toy This drawing was done with uh, soft pastel. What I noticed that the soft pastel can be blended more easily. You can rub it with a finger or a paper towel. Hardness of each color there is, maybe because of the pigment used. So some of them are, are harder, some of them are softer compared to hard pastels. Light colors can be applied over the dark colors in uh, some extent, I think, until uh, the tooth of the paper is uh, full of uh, color. They uh, blend easily. At the end uh, of this drawing, I think to, to preserve the drawing, it needs to be fixed with a uh, fixative because uh, it smudges uh, more uh, easily than uh, hard pastels. Also, I noticed that you can uh, make a texture um, with uh, this pastel you can use the broad uh, side or uh, the tip of it to, for uh, drawing details now let's switch to extra soft pastels there are um, 12 uh, sticks round sticks of 12 millimeters they are very soft just a piece of pastel broke you don't need to press too hard It blends easily, much easier than uh, soft pastels. Color is more brighter and vibrant than uh, those of soft pastels. I think in this one is more pigment than in soft pastel. The color is more intense. And I'd like to try something I heard that uh, extra soft pastels uh, have uh, as a binder um, Arabic gum. So I'll try water brush to see if they blend. Yeah, they blend uh, a bit with water. Uh, these pastel are water soluble, so they can be used in mixed media. For these pastels, I chose uh, this bunny toy. I'll sketch it. I think I'll make it more uh, colorful to uh, use more colors. This sketch was done with extra soft pastels. They uh, blend very well, they are uh, amazing.
and they have very bright and vibrant color they are very nice to to paint with them in this video i tried three kinds of pastel hard pastels soft pastels and uh, extra soft pastels. All three of them have uh, advantages and uh, disadvantages. I think I'll use uh, the hard pastels for painting on location because they don't smudge uh, and they uh, stay on paper very well and they are good for details. They have a bright color so I can them take them uh, in my uh, urban sketching uh, tools also they um, are very light uh, soft pastels uh, have a range a good range of colors i think i'll use them for more finished paintings in uh, studio and the uh, extra soft uh, pastels they uh, have a very vibrant and bright color i'll use them also they blend very well. I'll use them also in the studio because they uh, smudge and need to be fixed with a fixative and it's more difficult to bring uh, along to, to paint on location. I'll try them on um, other occasions. Thank you for uh, watching. Bye!